Larry Engelsano reporting for Aviation Consumer Magazine. You know, a misconception behind Piper's new M600 single engine turboprop is that it's really just a more luxurious Piper Meridian. That may be partially the case, but the M600 has got a new wing, more power, more range, and a brand new avionics system. We'll go fly the M600, but before we do, Piper's Craig Masters will give us an overview. Um, you can see in the background, it, it looks a little bit like the uh, M500. Uh, the fuselage and the tail are pretty much the same as the M500 with some structural enhancements, structural improvements. The reason for the structural increase is the M600 has a VMO of 250 knots as opposed to the 188 knots in the M500. Because of the extra weight, 6,000 pounds now instead of 5,000 pounds. Um, we had to beef up the structure for gust loads and for the extra weight. Um, the main difference between the M600 and the M500 is the wing. It's a clean sheet design on the wing. Uh, as you can see, uh, we removed all the VGs. Um, it's a bigger wing. It holds uh, 90 more gallons of fuel. Um, the uh, flap is redesigned. It's a much more efficient, much bigger flap. The aileron is redesigned. Um, the landing gear is improved, it's, uh, it's beefed up, it's actually uh, wider now, it's about six inches wider, slightly more aft, gives the airplane a more stable feeling on the ground. Um, it's the same engine, PT6, 42A engine, the M600 uh, torque limit's 1575, the M500 torque limit's 1313, so the extra 100 horsepower is there to offset the additional weight. Um, ITT limits are the same. This airplane is uh, certified to 30,000 feet, but it's not RVSM compliant, so you're effectively limited to 280. Uh, the speed uh, that we're seeing at cruise, uh, the max speed with the uh, uh, max horsepower rating is 274. Uh, the normal cruise settings are more in the 265 knot range. Uh, with the additional fuel, which is uh, really one of the sweet spots of this airplane, uh, the, the range goes up to about 1,400 nautical miles. Um, in fact, I flew from Vero Beach to uh, Chicago on Friday. It took four and a half hours. I had about a 24 knot headwind, um, but I made it from Vero Beach to Chicago uh, with uh, 600 pounds of fuel remaining. So I could have flown another two hours past that. It would have made Oshkosh easy. So the, this airplane has, has some really nice long legs on it. Now buyers will compare the M600 to other flagship single-engine turboprops including the Pilatus PC-12NG executive equipped at $4.8 million and the Dyer TBM-930 standard equipped at $3.9 million. Published max cruising speed for the TBM-930 is 330 knots true and it's 285 knots true for the Pilatus. Advertised maximum no-win range with NBAA reserves for the PC-12NG is 1,845 nautical miles and it's 1,730 nautical for the TBM-930. So Craig, obviously a major new system in the uh, M600 is the G3000 avionics. For those that are used to the G1000, how does this differ um, from what they may be accustomed to? Uh, well, the biggest obvious difference is the uh, the GTCs or the uh, touch screens we see down here, and uh, you basically do most of your operations from here. You s you still have some of the uh, soft keys remaining on the the MFD and PFD, but uh, most of your operations now are done uh, down in this area, and uh, you've got your uh, your navs and comms up here. Your uh, transponder controls are all up here. All your flight planning is down here. You can actually go through the list. It's uh, all your map settings, your traffic settings, your weather selections. On this airplane, we have XM and uh, Cirrus connects weather as well as weather radar. Uh, TAWS, there's uh, electronic charts, your flight planning and, and uh, loading procedures. Your direct two button is prominent. Uh, you've got some aircraft systems set up, electronic checklists. We also have uh, satellite phone and SMS texting available as, long as, as well as the uh, XM music that you're used to um, and some other setup uh, stuff that you see down here. So Craig, we just climbed out of uh, Appleton, Wisconsin for a level at 17,500 feet here. What are we, what are we seeing for, uh, for numbers? At ISA plus 10, or at ISA, actually at ISA plus 15 there. So the power setting should be between 1527 and 1445, which it is. 
which would give up some fuel flow between 342 and 328, we're at 330, and the speed 256 to 253, and we're at uh, 257 on the speed. So we're actually looking like we're doing a little bit better than the book performance right now. So the G3000 also uh, is coupled with the GFC 700 autopilot. One of the safety features is called ESP Electronic Stability and Protection, and that's designed to basically nudge the airplane back to a normal flight, flight envelope if for some reason you get outside. So if you bank the airplane too far, it will uh, it'll give you a friendly nudge. You can override it if you choose to, but it's a reminder that you probably don't want to be flying there to protect you. There's also a level button on the panel that anytime you want, you can just mash that blue button and the airplane will go to a level mode. If, if you uh, try to fly the airplane past uh, 250 knots, the autopilot will tell you you're in an overspeed condition and it will engage in an overspeed mode and pull the airplane back and, and uh, fly it at 250 knots. If you are trying to climb too slow, you have the power back too far and you're trying to climb too, too, uh, too fast, uh, you can get into an underspeed protection mode. Uh, if that happens, again, you get a warning and then the airplane will push itself over and uh, go to a condition that's safe to fly and just hold it there. So Craig, what do we want for approach speeds for landing in this airplane? We have a takeoff flap set. We also use it for the approach setting. So we're looking at 100 to 120 knots indicated. We're at 116, really good. Uh, when we go to the landing flap setting, 95 to 105 knots indicated. And then we try to transition to about 85 knots over the uh, numbers. And that'll give you a nice smooth touchdown with the uh, stall warning going off just at, just at contact. Okay, so the M600 is certified now. We certified it in June. Our first delivery was July, uh, second week in July, I think it was. Uh, SN4, actually, it's up here at the air show. Um, the airplane retails for $2.85 million, and uh, it's available now. You can contact your local uh, dealer, and uh, he can give you some more information. And you can read a full report on the Piper M600 in the September 2016 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglisano. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Craig Masters at Piper.